Hello, friends. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Uh, in this second part of uh, Pathologic Server Upgrade, I will show you how to upgrade 10.3.6 version to 12.2.1.4. So let us see our source and target. So my source is WebLogic Server 10.3.6, which is installed with Java 7. And on screen, you can see my Oracle home, my domain, and then my node manager home. Because it is 10.3.6 version, which was uh, along with a node manager configuration, which was based on the per host basis. Okay. So that time the node manager configuration was inside our WebLogic server home. Okay. And we were starting uh, uh, from that location. Now our target is 12.2.1.4. And for that, I need a current latest Java, which is Java 8. And because it is uh, from 10.3.6 to 12.2.1.4, so we have to go for out of place upgrade. So in that case, we will install our 12.2.1.4 uh, binaries, or you can say 12.2.1.4 software in, in a different Oracle home. Okay, for to get a more knowledge on this one, you can go through my part one of this upgrade series. And domain would be same because I will rewire the same domain to the new binaries. Okay, and my node manager home again going to be changed because from uh, 12, one, uh, 12 to 1 onwards, okay? And then uh, you have a per host based node manager, okay? So in that case, your node manager home will also change. So only thing that will remain same is your domain. Apart from that, your Java will be changed, your Oracle home will be changed, and your node manager home will again going to be changed. So let us see my architecture. So I have one admin server and one node manager is running there, and one demo server, manager server is there. Okay, and I have one application with HRF name that is deployed on my demo server one. And when I will access my application, okay, it will show me that this is screen. Or this is the, you can say about the front page of my application. Okay, so after update, I have to make sure that everything is same as it is. Now, what would be my action plan? The first action plan is that the first part of my action plan is to bring down my complete WebLogic server domain, which include to bring down my node manager, manage servers and admin server. Okay. And after that, you have to take a complete backup of binaries so that in case of any issues, so that you can, you can roll back and you can restore your original uh, domain and original binaries. Okay. So take the complete backup of your binaries. That means installation of Oracle home and then your domain directory. And if required, if you have certain kind of a configurations in your database as well, then take the backup of the database as well. But most of the cases, when you are going for a WebLogic upgrade, uh, where you don't have any kind of metadata in your uh, Oracle database, or maybe in another database, then you don't need to go for the Oracle backup. Okay. So after that, first you have to install your uh, supported Java. In my case, I have installed uh, Java 8 on Windows in directory C colon slash Java 8. Okay. After that, I have installed uh, 12214 in our new Oracle home, which is C colon Oracle and then WLS 12214, right? And I will reconfigure my existing domain. So as I said, the only thing that will remain same is your domain, okay? And the once the reconfiguration is done, I will start the services, okay? Node manager, your uh, admin server, and your manage server. So this is my high-level action plan, okay? So first is bring down your complete domain. Second, take the binaries and domain backup. Third is you can install your latest Java. Then fourth is you are install the latest 12214 WebLogic software. And after that, I will reconfigure my existing domain. Okay. And then I will start my services. Okay. The first is about reconfiguration of domain. For that one, once you have installed your new WebLogic server, then go inside your new Oracle home, then Oracle underscore common, then common bin directory. And there you will see a script called reconfig.cmd in Windows and then .sh in your Linux-based systems. Okay. This is the first screen. There you have to select your existing domain. Okay, so I have selected my existing domain. It will take some time and it will show you the setup progress. Okay, and once everything is good, it will show you with a red green tick mark. Third screen, it will show you the reconfiguration summary. Okay, it is going to upgrade your WebLogic domain. Then you have to select your uh, JDK. So either you can select your existing JDK or you want to provide some other different location of your JDK, then you can select that one. And domain would, would be selected automatically based on your current domain, whether it is a development mode or it is in production mode. This is an important screen. See, because I have upgrading from 1036, which was which was there with uh, per host based node manager. And I'm now upgrading to 12214, which is now with a per domain node manager, right? For more information, you can you can see 
uh, my lecture one of the series. Okay, so here what I am doing is that I am selecting the first option as per domain default location for node manager type. Second node manager configuration, I will set migrate existing configurations because I am going to upgrade. So I am going to migrate to the new domain. So it will select automatically you for the existing 1036 node manager home. Okay, inside your node manager home uh, box. Okay, and then you can either select apply recommended uh, default settings. Okay. And then you have to provide the node manager credentials, username and password. So as a best practice, always provide we always provide the username and password same as we have in the WebLogic uh, for WebLogic admin server, okay, or admin console. Uh, but if you want, then you can have a different username and password as well for your node manager. Right. So this is the default configuration. That means I am going to select the per domain default location. Second, I am selecting the migrating migrating existing configurations. There I will select the existing. Uh, 1036 or uh, node manager home and then i will provide the username and password for my node manager then it will show you the screen with the default settings as just like we configure our domain so you don't need to select anything here okay but if you wanted to review the configuration of your domain then you can select all the boxes okay so i have selected there because i i, I wanted to see my other domain configurations okay whatever i have there the first one it will show you the admin server configurations here okay Second, it will show you the configurations of your many server. Okay, then it will show you this cluster. If you have any cluster, it will display here. Then it will display the server template. If you have any machine, then it will display all the machines here. And it will show you all the servers that you have assigned to your machine. If you have any virtual target, then it will show you here. Then it will show you the partition if there are any. Then it will show you the deployment targeting, your application and where you have, where it is deployed. Okay. And then it will show you the configuration screen. So here it is just showing you that a complete configuration of your domain. Okay. Now it will take some time. Okay. So when it is done, it will show you the reconfiguration progress. And when it is done, it will show you the success, 100% success. Okay. And then you will finally see the screen that your reconfiguration is completed successfully. Okay. Now your upgrade of WebLogic server is completed. And now what you are going to do is you can see your node manager home, which will be now inside your domain, which was earlier inside your WebLogic home. Now you can see it is it will be inside your domain, right? Your domain and then you will see a folder with name node manager and you can go inside node manager. You can see all the configuration files there for node manager. And now to start and stop your node manager, you have to start it from your domain bin directory, okay? And then once you will start your node manager, then you can see the log file. It will display you the current version 12214. And then in similar way, when you once you will start your admin server and manage servers, it will show you the logs 12214 version and also on the console as well. Right. And then you can test your application. Just try to access the application and see if it's accessible or not. And this is all about the upgrade of WebLogic from 1036 to 12214. Okay. And stay tuned for more interesting videos. Thanks for watching.